I'm Russ Reed and this is Looking At. We're in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Art Prize 2015. I'm at the Jam and Bean and I met Chris Tyler here. Chris, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me about your piece. Um, what you have here is a visual representation of post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, I'm an Iraqi vet and I spent a year and a half in Baghdad. Right. And uh, I came back and I wasn't the same person and I guess I'm trying to bring some awareness to what PTSD is and how it affects uh, people's lives. Um, to me, every, every 30 minutes a vet takes his life and that's unacceptable to me and I end up homeless and on the streets. I guess I'm trying to be down here to help people understand that it is a real thing and it's very serious and to be aware of what's going on. When I came back from the war, I kind of felt like an alien to my own world and that's why I use a spaceship and aliens. Um, so it's a good way for kids to get into it and adults to understand it, so mm -hmm. a good crossover. When you come back from the war, you expect your life to be what it was, and it's just not. You know, you're not the same person, they're not the same. And because you know, went through the experience and stuff, there's a lot of um, emotions and anger and rage and stuff that's inside of you, and, and your, your happy home you used to have just isn't the same anymore. So that's why I caught him on fire, mm -hmm. have the lasers there and, and stuff. is kind of a representation of the emotions and stuff that happens when you get back home. So creatively, how did you get from uh, PTSD to uh, I want to do this thing that's outer space. I mean, was it just strictly from the alien idea that when you came back, you didn't feel like you fit in? Uh, you know, I, it took me 10 years to realize what was going on with me. Uh, you know, I isolated myself from the world and all that stuff. And PTSD, you know, in the military, you're taught if you're weak, if you ask for help, you're weak. So I was trying to, you know, suck it up and drive on, like they say, you know, and it just got to the point where it was too much for me.